we're going to talk about supermarket coffees. Everybody drinks coffee from the supermarket, right? I mean, you, you run out of coffee once in a while. Even if you have your own favorite small batch roaster, there's going to come a time when you're going to need some coffee. The supermarket does sell a lot of coffee. I saw this recently at the Specialty Coffee Show. There's a, a service that brings small batch roasters coffees that are regional into the supermarket so that they have their own rack, some options, but still you're going to come back to the main big majors. I think it's worthwhile for us to taste them, but the question is, do they really come close to the kind of coffees that Ken and I and you drink on a daily basis? Okay. I should say that occasionally I get caught. I find myself at the local Safeway in despair. <laughs> so, the local uh, supermarket chain, the dominant chain Safeway, for a while was uh, trying to do some local roasters. Uh, I think they've given up now. There are some advantages to supermarket coffees, in that presumably when they're large roasters, they also have some form of keeping the coffee fresh. And I'm not just talking about the button on the package that lets the air out but not back in again. They use nitrogen flush. Do you think nitrogen flush has any validity, Ken? Well, what the Kevin's talking about is at the point that the coffee is dropped into the bag, in with nitrogen, inert gas, which displaces the oxygen. So at the point that coffee enters the bag and it's sealed, there is very little oxygen in with the beans. And if there's no oxygen and there's no moisture either, then there's no staling for a long time. Most big name supermarket coffees are nitrogen flushed or they pull a vacuum, but that's, on, that's mainly in cans. They principle in both cases is the same. You don't want any oxygen in with, with the coffee, and then it stays fresh for quite a long time. The coffee degasses, the whole beans degas. They emit CO2, but that's no problem because there's a one-way valve on the bags that allows the gas out and keeps oxygen or atmosphere that has oxygen from coming in. Did we get a chance to do uh, oxygen levels on the coffees to date? Yes, okay, and right. I should explain that. There's a machine that we have at Coffee Review Lab allows us to take uh, residual oxygen readings in, from what's inside the bag before we open it. The ideal residual oxygen is 0%, <laughs> which means that there might have been a little oxygen in there, but it was absorbed by the beans. If you get about 3%, that's still pretty good. If you get 20%, which is the same as, as atmosphere, roughly, it's very bad. So we'll see where these coffees came, <laughs> came in. in that, <laughs> okay. so. Well, I'm really interested in that because it is the key to the promise. You know, supermarket coffee can taste as fresh as someone's coffee in your neighborhood. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more shows like this.